where God is getting ready to take you, everybody can't go there. All right. You're going to have to get selective. And some folks are going to call you funny. Some folks are going to say, why are you not answering your phone? Some folks are going to say, how come you're not on Facebook as much with all that mess like you used to? Let me tell you something. It's not wrong with being on Facebook, but put the right stuff on there. Why? Watch this. It was a lot of folks around Jesus. But when he was getting ready to step into this dimension for the miracle, he had to get only a few around him. Because the higher you go, the fewer folks going to be able to go up there with you. And some of you, you trying to take folks with you that don't qualify. The person that helped you get to where you are is not necessarily the people that's going to help get to you where God is taking you. So the key is going to be discernment because if you go in the flesh, you're going to be like Abraham. You're going to take Lot when God told you to leave him there. And later on down the road, it's going to create conflict in your life and you're going to eventually have to snip the clip, clip the cord before you step into the next dimension that God is calling you to. Are you ready? Your faith, your faith in the atmosphere? Yes. Look at verse 38. Then he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and saw a tumult in those who wept and wailed loudly. When he came in, he said to them, why make this commotion and weep? The child is not dead, but sleeping. When he got in the house, they cried, they wailing, they just boo-hooing, and Jesus is saying, the child is sleeping. Watch this. Everybody else saying she dead. Jesus is saying she sleeping. You need to see this because how you see your situation is going to determine what God do next. And when you are seeing things as dead, you're going to be crying. You're going to be wilding in your, in your tears. You're going to be feeling sorry for yourself. You're going to be saying, why me? Why me? But if you look through the eyes of faith, that thing won't be dead. It will be sleep. And anything that's sleep, it can be woken up. Are you listening to me? And see, with Jairus, it was his daughter. It, that was his baby. But with you, it's your dream. Have your dream, is your dream dead or is it just sleep? See, it's something that's your baby that's sleep and God's getting ready to wake it up. I wish somebody give God a real prayer. Come on, I know you've been fasting, I know you've been praying, I've been fasting and praying too. But I hear God calling us higher, church. to change the way you see it Come on. before it changes. Yes. That's good. Where, where is your baby? Where is your baby today? Where is your baby? Because it's time for your baby to wake up. Your baby might be your healing. Your baby might, might, might be your ministry. Your baby might be your marriage. Your baby might be your goals. Your baby, I don't know your baby by name, but, but what's your baby name? Ask somebody, tell them what you name your baby. Ask them what you name your baby. Now tell them, tell them your baby name. Come on. Tell them your baby name. Come on, I don't know. Is your baby name healing? Is your baby name a new house? Is your baby name a new car? Is your baby name millions of dollars? Come on now. I, I, I'm looking for my baby to get up here in a minute. And, and I can't take everybody in the room with me. I can't take everybody there. Oh, God, are you receiving this today? Because folks crying over your baby. They say your baby dead. Mm. Oh, 
You'll never get that. You'll never go there. You'll never have that. You'll never own that. You forgot where you came from. Your, your family never had nothing like that. You, 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 don't, you don't understand, amen, that when God gives you a baby, God don't give you a baby to die. God gives you a baby to live. And I came to speak to some folks' babies today. Hallelujah. Look what happened. Are you ready for this? Oh, look at verse 40. Now, what did Jesus say? The baby not dead, but what? Sleep. But look what happened in verse 40. And they ridiculed him. One version says what? They laughed at him. See, let me tell you something. When you get into this crazy faith that I'm talking about, you really haven't got there to folks around you start laughing at you. Come on. Because you be talking some stuff that in the natural, it doesn't make any sense. No. Come on. Oh, I need at least, I need somebody. Come on. Yeah, God. Listen, okay. listen, when you really start talking faith on God's level, yeah. the same folks that just was crying and feeling sorry for you start laughing for you in the next verse. So your crying and your tears must not have been real if you just got through crying for me. How you going to start laughing at me when you was just crying? So let me tell you what you got to do when that happens. Look, verse 40. And they ridiculed him, but when he had put them all outside. In other words, y'all get out the room. Because the only thing I want in this room is faith. You're going to have to get everything out your room but faith. You're going to have to get doubt out. You're going to have to get fear out. You're going to have to get insecurity out. You're going to have to get laziness out. You're going to have to get unforgiveness out. You're going to have to get depression out. All those that are laughing, all those that are crying, he go to the door. I'm opening the door and I'm, I'm escorting you up out of the room because God's about to do something so big and I don't want no interruptions. I don't want folks up in my room that can't appreciate what God is doing in my life in this season. I don't need folks in the room that's, 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 that, that ain't in prayer, that won't fast, that won't believe God. I don't need folks up in the room, amen, that say you make it, that's too big, that's too much, that's Come too on. much money. I appreciate you, but Bye. there you go. Bye. Get out. Yeah. Don't let it hit you with a good there you go. Because let me tell you something. I'm telling you right now, I'm opening the door and I'm letting some folks out. Yeah.